All right, we're all set. I'm picking up something on the scanner. I'll be there in five. All right, we're in place. We're ready. Bring it on, big scary thing. I hope I actually repaired everything. I don't remember if I did not not. Oh, there we go. There's a big one. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal Impossible I'm here. Today, we're checking out a game called Space Raiders in space and uh you know i've given this game a little bit of a play try to figure it out make sure i knew what i was doing when i was coming in here and it's uh a little bit like a tower defense but with no with weak towers <laughs> and you just kind of have people defend an area until uh you know until they can no longer handle the waves and then they move on and you have to scour for resources and stuff and stuff like that it's uh you know it's something I think that would be a good fit for this channel. Fortunately, we only have endless mode right now. We have to unlock survival mode by playing through and uh, getting really far, and we just haven't got there yet. And of course, there's going to be another mode coming out soon in a couple days when this, you know, releases out of early access, I believe. Anyway, okay, idiots, we're almost there. Get ready to search the area and grab whatever you can find. If you're willing to risk it, you can fortify up a bit and hold out as long as you want. I'll be waiting. The pilot looks over his shoulder to cross-eyed raiders and their crap-eating grins. He regrets every single one of his life choices that led him to this moment. With all of humanity fleeing the bugs, he was the only one who saw this as a rare opportunity to get some very sweet loot. He just had to risk the buds, bugs finding his crew. That's a risk the pilot was willing to take. He asked them one more time if they understand using very small words and speaking very clearly. Uh, yeah, I understand. Yep, there we go. The pilot wishes the crew good luck and blasts off. All right. We got some stuffy stuffs. All right, this is the uh, first area here. Let's put it on pause real quick. That way we don't waste any time. You see, we got 50 seconds till the baddies come. I'm going to start off. Let me see here. What do I want to do? I think starting off, I'm going to put up walls in a couple of spots. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to throw up a wall right in the middle here. Make sure nothing comes sneaking through there. I don't think anything would, but you know what? We're just going to make darn sure. Nothing's allowed to come sneaking in there. Uh, you see the black line show us where the baddies are going to be coming from. I'm going to throw another wall right around here-ish. There we go. Another wall right around there-ish. There we go. Something like that. And uh, let's all set everyone to build. Go get building. Do buildy things. And they're going to go get our walls up real quick. And then may maybe, if we're lucky, we'll have a little bit of time to uh, search out a little bit. You definitely want people to go run around searching if they can. Let's go. Everyone go search. And uh, they'll just run around. They're going to look for new guns. They're going to look for, you know, bolts and wires. So we can set up, you know, turrets and stuff like that. Like this guy just picked up five wires. Wires are actually really helpful. We got a tier 3 gun right off the bat. That's actually pretty good. We'll pick that one up. Hopefully we get more of that stuff. This guy, can you search any more for me? Sometimes they decide that's it. We can't do any more actions. And they just go back and hang out in base. And uh, I think that's just, you know, maybe they have like two actions per turn or something. All right, let's have them all set to defend. They're all back in place. Let's go ahead and start the wave early since they're all sitting back in place anyway. And now you see the bad guys. They're becoming. We got like space alien type things coming. You can barely see them in this dark map right here. That We're kind of like killing them the second they get in range with this giant minigun. That's kind of an awesome minigun. I'm just going to throw that out there. You know, if, if I'm going to have a, you know, a gun to protect myself from aliens, something like that. Yeah, I'd go with something like that. That seems pretty good. And there we go. That's the last one down. And uh, let's see, after this one, we're going to get a choice. Do we want to stay and keep killing stuff? Or are we scared we want to go to the next area? So let's see here. Good news, everyone. The dump is a regularly scheduled supply drop. Still operational somehow. If my calculations are correct, it should get here in about two waves. Should we, should we stick around? Heck yeah, we're sticking around. Why don't you everyone just go around searching for a little bit? Uh, I'm going to see if I can build some good stuff here. We're going to throw down a defense point right there. And we're going to build another defense point right over here. There we go. And that's it. We got two people going to build those. The other guys are still running around collecting stuff. We only have three people, so the other guy is running around collecting stuff. We got a tier two sniper rifle, looks like. Um, I think it's exactly the same thing as what I have right now, so I'm just going to leave it on the ground there. We could scrap it, but I, I've gotten the habit of just leaving things on the ground. Your weapons will degrade over time, so you're kind of 
you know, eventually in the middle of things, you like your weapon will break or something, or it'll get really low. And it, having an extra, you know, decent weapon just lying around that you can just go and pick up, it could be pretty helpful, to be honest. Oh, we got a tier 3 over here. What's up with you? Another minigun, it looks like. Let's pick that up. I like miniguns. I'm a fan of miniguns in this game, honestly. Ah, uh, we got one person still. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that. I mean, I'll double check. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Uh, you know what? That one's only a tier 1. I'll pretty much never use a tier 1, so I can scrap that. And everyone is defending, so let's go ahead and send the wave in. And you see they can hide in these areas right here and still do damage. So these things kind of like act like a wall that you can also shoot out of. So it's kind of like a bunker. And it's uh, it's pretty good. They can just hide in there. They don't take damage from uh, physical attacks at the very least while they're in there. And you don't run into non-physical attacks, I don't think, for quite a while. Uh, later on, you get into these things where these guys shoot, like, I don't know, like, sonar waves at you or something. And they, they can hurt you through stuff, but this one I don't think is a big deal at all. There we go. We hit, we killed more stuff. Everyone just go and search. I don't think we need to do much else. It's getting pretty hot down there. What's the plan? I don't need to go anywhere. We're fine. Keep searching. Uh, let's go into maintenance mode. Does any of these things look hurt, really? No, I think everything's fine. We got nothing to worry about. Go search and find us good things. I think uh, if it's either this wave or next wave, we'll probably have a boss monster come. Which, uh, you know, I kind of look forward to. Because everyone, you might think, oh my god, it's a boss monster, we're going to die. But you know what? Boss monsters have boss loot. And boss loot is where it's at. Um, my only complaint really is that, you know, you get boss loot, but eventually, you know, your, uh, your gun or whatever, you know, degrades and you have to replace it. It's kind of like, you know, I don't know, I've never been a big fan of mechanics where the cool things you get eventually break. I want to keep my cool things forever. That's just, you know, that's just how it goes. All right, we got all the bolts we're getting from there. And uh, let's go into send wave. There we go. Uh, these guys usually will pick out somewhere that's defensible, but we only have two actual defensible turret things right here. Uh, so this one, he'll just shoot from over there. They're not, they can't come in from back here, right? That would, that would suck. I might put it like another defense buck bunker area over here so this guy can actually shoot at stuff. Because, yeah, he's, he's not doing much. There's not much you're doing back there, buddy. Uh, luckily, there's no, like, EXP or anything, so it's not like he's missing out on leveling up or anything like that. And he's just, you know, basically a, a turret that's not doing any damage for us, which is no good. Alright, see, this is what drops when we uh, beat a boss wave type thing. And, uh, you know, usually decent loot, but it's kind of random. So we got a tier 5. Tier 5, holy cow. Uh, tier 5 something. I don't even know what that is. Uh, like a wrench? It's like a monkey wrench or something. It's replacing our tier 1, but it's a melee weapon. So that's not, like, you know, amazing. But, you know, it's decent. Uh, let's get down, like I said, another defense turret. I'm just going to throw it over here. I don't really care what it does. I just want it to be somewhere where it'll actually be useful. This guy's not shooting anything over there. Uh, let's get everyone on search. Everyone search. I'm staying, buddy. There we go. Search. I'll have the one guy who was building back on building. Yeah, you go back to building. I think that was you. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I don't really care. Somebody needs to build. And you see these guys actually wander around and just search. And I don't think they ever run out of places to search. Uh, I do think as the map goes on, maybe searching takes longer. But the tier of loot you tend to find is a little bit better, generally. I'm going to leave that on the ground for now. And we got another one, and I'll leave that on the ground for now as well. There we go. This one's going home already. I guess they ran out of actions, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure how that works. They might just have, like, two actions per per wave or something they could do. But now they're all coming back. Let's go ahead and hurry them up here. They're all in their little cubby holes, so let's start it up and get more killing going on. This one over here starts out with this, like, giant minigun. And it's like, things can't even get close. It's kind of funny. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, we didn't do all that much damage to that one. He died, though, so that works. Yeah, I don't think we'll have anything to worry about for a long time, if I'm being honest. We seem to be doing pretty good. We also don't have any turrets down yet. We just have these defensive positions. We can put down turrets. Yeah, they're done. They got killed, dude. We're handling business. Uh, let's see what we can do here. 
It's getting pretty hot down there. What's the plan? I'm not going anywhere. We're still fine. I'm not worried about it. Uh, tier 2 Bazooka might be good for somebody. Let's go ahead and get a, a blueprint of some sort going. Uh, we can build a rifle turret. Uh, not, not that we, you know, need the uh, help, but you know what? Having turrets is good, and I haven't shown you guys this one yet, so I figured I may as well. You can uh, rotate by uh, using the mouse wheel, by the way, if I didn't go over that. I don't know if they even went over that in the, in the tutorial or not. It's just something you pick up. All right, let's go ahead and keep doing stuff. Uh, everyone search except for... Uh, hold on, I, I should have just had the one person who wasn't doing stuff go hit and... Uh, Go ahead and, uh, whatchamacallit. There. And we should be fine. They're building now. There is, a. There's also buttons for, like, you know, okay, if I need to repair something, I go and click it. Or you can, hit, you know, repair everything. Uh, you can show our turret range, but we don't have turrets yet. When they're built, you can see their range and see how far they'll shoot from. Uh, these are just regular old rifle turrets. Honestly, they don't do all that much. Uh, you know, other turrets you get later on can be pretty decent, but what you get, I think, as far as I can tell, is, like, totally RNG. So, uh, you don't, you know, it's it's a bit of a, a roguelike neck in that sense, I guess. And I don't know if, I don't, I doubt the maps themselves are randomly generated, but, you know, it's just RNG stuff. You know, what you get is going to be RNG. Alright, 15 seconds left. I don't know, you better finish searching whatever you're searching over there, buddy. You're going to get yourself in trouble. You get that, and you're getting out of there. I had a feeling it was something high tier, because it was taking forever. Yeah, get out of there, buddy. Get out of there. Yeah, something will be there in five seconds. That's right. All right, here we go. Do it up. We got more baddies coming. And you see, the turrets are right here. If something gets within that range, they'll shoot. But they don't even do that much damage, and uh, they don't even, you know... They don't have a very good range, truth be told. Not compared to our main guys here. I, I guess you could try to make up for it in numbers, but, meh, whatever. They, you know, whenever they start swarming at the front here, we'll have a little bit more DPS on stuff. I'm okay with that. It seems helpful. Oh, the last one is dead. Hopefully we face a boss soon. I don't want to stay here for too much longer. Oh, there we go. We got a boss coming. That's good. Holy crap, you guys are in for a treat. The scanner is showing a big bug incoming, like a real big bug. I think it feasted upon the bugs on its inter immediate vicinity, like uh, gourmet snacks and stuff. <laughs> Should we leave before it gets here? No, we're staying. We're going to kill everything. Uh, let's go ahead and hit repair on everything. That'll be helpful. Yep, you guys go ahead and do that. And after that, go ahead and search. Here we go. Let's see what kind of fat loots we can get before, you know, everything dies a horrible death. And maybe I should make sure everyone has, like... I think everyone's stuff is mostly okay, honestly. Bazookio, sniper rifle, assault rifle... Yeah, I don't want any of those. We're fine. Right, our weapons have, like, 60% health. It's still decent. Now, we'll, we'll probably be alright. And we'll probably bug out of here once we uh, kill this boss monster. Because the things are going to just keep getting rougher and rougher. And, oh, uh, what's this thing? What is you? No, I'm not going to use you, so let's scrap you. Let's probably scrap most of this stuff, honestly. Oh, well. Can I just have all these guys just running around scrapping everything? There we go. We'll get some scrap. It's guaranteed stuff at any rate. Scrap. Everything must be scrapped. There we go. We got, you know, 20 seconds. Might as well scrap what we can here. I'm not going to use any of this stuff. Um, nobody needs a bazooka, right? No, we're still good on stuff. And we can't take it to the next map with us, so... I don't, know, I don't see any point in not just getting rid of it if we can. Get the extra bolts and wires and stuff from it. And I'm going to have everyone go back... I'd rather make darn sure everyone is in place before the boss gets here. Just gonna throw that out there. Alright, we're all set. I'm picking up something on the scanner. I'll be there in five. Alright, we're in place. We're ready. Bring it on, big scary thing. I hope I actually repaired everything. I don't remember if I did not not. Oh, there we go. There's a big one. He's dying pretty quick, though. We don't have much to worry about here. He'll be dead. There you go. And he just does regular physical damage, so he couldn't even get through this. No biggie. And we get whatever this thing is. Looks like a resistor. Alright, what are we getting? 
We got another person? Oh, they gave us another person. Sweet. So, so now, essentially, we have, like, another turret, essentially. All right, let's get out of here. We don't have enough time. Oh, we don't have enough uh, food. I guess we have to stick around. Uh, well, crap. All right, keep searching. Everyone search. Oh, we should probably equip this guy with something, because he doesn't have anything. There we go. Everyone search. Uh, you need rations to uh, feed your people as they go around. So, yeah, we haven't been getting much food, unfortunately. That is, uh, that sucks. I'll be honest, that sucks. But, uh, you know, we definitely need to be focusing more on our searching. Without it, you can't move on to the next place. And if you can't move on to the next place, you die. You die a horrible death. What are you doing, buddy? Why aren't you searching still? I guess you can't. In that, in that case, can we get another defensive point down so you can, like, at least do stuff? I'll, like, throw you in here somewhere. What about over here? I think it'll work. Yeah, you can hang out over there, buddy. You go do that, since you're not doing anything else. Why don't you just go build that? Equip, what is this? Tier 3? Yeah, go get the Tier 3 thingy. I like Tier 3 thingies. Uh, we got somebody that's supposed to build over here. Why don't you uh, go ahead and finish building that? Since the other guy ran off. Right, we still got 40 seconds. I think we'll be alright. We got... Everyone's doing done all the searching they can do, I believe. I think you know, I'm just double checking here, and uh, we just have one guy over here building. Can I put you on building here? All right, can I have you search? Can you still search? If you can search. You should. No, I can't. Okay. I was just you know gonna have people who can't search go in the building, but it doesn't matter. Make sure everyone is back. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, send the next wave. You don't have to have a, a defense turret for every single guy, by the way. You know, they'll hang out back here, and they'll still shoot at stuff that gets within range. I just find it helpful to have them near the front line. Uh, you know, they can shoot at stuff sooner. You know, stuff doesn't take damage because, you know, you're killing it faster. So on and so forth. Looks like we have eight food. We should be able to move on the next turn, I think. I think we're, I mean, honestly, we could probably hold out for a while longer, but I don't know. You guys might want to see a new map. You know, it's a, if I was being, t uh, you know, tactical, I might stay here for another boss or something, but I think it's kind of boring after a while. You kind of want to see what else, you know, is going on. So let's peace out. And uh, we had enough rations this time. Uh, can someone watch the ship while I uh, attend to business? Wait a second. At one time you're getting off, is that a strip club? Uh, the crew quickly gather at the airlock while the pilot lands. They realize they can engage the manual override to seal the doors, keeping the pilot inside. Uh, what are we going to do? I, I guess we're going to defend the ship while he does his own thing. The pilot jauntily steps off the ship and into the club. After 15 minutes, Johnson gets worried and hacks into the club's security system. He finds way too many camera feeds for such a private establishment, but eventually finds a pilot in a private VIP room. Johnson quickly turns off the feed, suppressing a gag. While he was in the system, though, he figured it, it wouldn't hurt to look around and stumble across some plans. Hack the planet. All right, let's hack the planet. I'm all right with that. The crew has earned a new blueprint minigun. This is super exciting because they're not very smart. So instead of just having this rifle turret, I believe we're going to have the minigun turret now. Yep, that looks like what happened. All right, let's get some building going. We have four people doing stuff this time. Funzy, funsies. Uh, let me see. Let's get some walls covering up the back here. Make sure people can't just, like, sneak in through the side here. There we go. Get that covered up. Probably get this right here covered up, too. I don't know if it matters if the, uh... The sporting boards are facing, you know, the outside or not, but, you know, if I don't have to have them do that, I won't. There we go. I think things can come through here, so it might be nice just to have a wall here, you know, just in case. And I think... I think that'll, like, take up our entire turn. And we could also build the defense points over here, I guess. That's something we could do. Does I want to... I don't know, why not? We'll, be, we'll build defense points over here. This is like using up all our resources for silliness, by the way. But you know what? We did it. Hopefully we'll have enough time to actually build all this stuff. Uh, I guess we'll see. Everyone just needs to be building at all times. If you're not building, apparently you're out of stuff to build, go search for stuff. 
Because apparently we already got most things built up really quick. It's kind of surprising, but you know what? I'll take it. I didn't think things were built that quick, if I'm being honest. But they did. Go get your search on. We got 20 seconds. I actually, you know, might as well stay there. We don't have enough time to do anything anyway. Let's see. Planning. Mo oh, we found a tier 1 something or another. Uh, it would just replace a tier 1. It doesn't really matter. Tier 1s I tend to scrap. Tier 2s and up I tend to keep, you know, just in case. Let's have everyone defend. The, uh, you know, monsters are coming in just a second or two. And these guys over here, unfortunately, don't have a good defending spot, so they could get hit by stuff. I probably should have built this wall out a little bit further, but, you know, stuff happens. Stuff happens. Yeah, I kind of wish I built that out here. I mean, you know, stuff happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what's going to go on here. They're shooting at stuff like, like way down here. Oh, there was something. I uh, died over here. It kind of sucks when things die off screen. You can't really tell what's going on. This guy's shooting every few seconds. I'm guessing, yeah, we're like killing things like way over here. They're not even getting close. My truth has set you free, apparently. Good to know. Okay, I like how we have this little dancing robot in the back. I have a feeling it's supposed to be uh, an exotic dancing robot, but I'm not 100% about that. Alright. Uh, this dump is regularly scheduled supply drop, and, and it's still operational somehow. If my calculations are correct, it should arrive here in about two waves. Should we stick around for it? Yeah, we're, we're going to stick around. I think we could hold out here for quite a while, honestly. Uh, I think, you know what, let me replace these, I think. Can I get rid of this? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's start uh, saving our time here for a second. I'll replace these with a defensible area, so let's go ahead and blueprint it. We'll put a defense point like this. There we go. And another defense point like this. There we go. We should be good. Let's go ahead and get those built up. And you guys can just go do searchy things. Yep, go find yourself some uh, fat loots. Because we're definitely going to need food to move on to the next area, I can tell you that. But for right now, we should be alright. Well, I don't know how long these things are going to take to build. Yeah, he did alright. Why don't you go ahead and uh, search around there, buddy. There you go. You know, you search around there, too. Get some more foods. Get some more weapons. Ah, see, they're going back here. I'm glad I put this thing here, because I'm pretty sure monsters will eventually come from here. I just, I just have that feeling that it's going to happen. And uh, maybe I should build up some, uh... Uh, what's a turret soon? Do we have any... I don't think we're even going to use this. Um, you know, take, take the ninja sword instead of the crowbar. Ninja sword just sounds cooler, you know? Um... Uh, didn't I just tell you to do that? No, we're not going to take that. Uh, everyone should go back and defend, by the way, before the monster comes and kill us all. Just throwing it out there. I'm picking something up in the scanner. It'll be there in five! I think we'll be all right. Everyone's in their little hidey holes, and uh, we should be good. We should be. And we're killing things from off screen. Things aren't even getting like remotely close. So I think we'll be all right. I like this little weird sonar thingy, like laser gun he's got going on there. That's like a real sci-fi Marvin the Martian gun over there. You gonna kill that thing or what? There we go going on down here. I have a feeling this is where all, most of the action is going on. But yeah, these things are dying before they even really get that close. I guess it got kind of close here. Got within like 20 feet or something. There we go. That was that was pretty simple. Now, right, everyone go search. Go do searchy things. Go get us lots and lots of cool things. Right, search. Go get them. I want cool stuff. Uh, lots of our guns, I assume, are going to be breaking soon. So I want to find as many replacements and, uh, you know, as, as we can, essentially. Found some food. You know, food is good. Uh, you can also use food simply to uh, heal your character. So if you have an abundance of it and one of your guys takes a little damage, you can heal him a little bit. It doesn't heal much, but it's the only heal I know of, to be honest. Uh, you know, when I was trying this game out, I ended up having, like, Getting up to like 30 food or something, because I was just camping a place until I absolutely could not hold it anymore. And, uh, you know, being able to heal people up was pretty pretty handy, but I didn't actually need it all that much. And uh, we're all done. You know, let's go ahead and uh, everyone defend and send the next big guy at us. 
I'm hoping we can put down a turret or two soon. I want to do uh, throw down the minigun. Oh, we got a big thingy coming. Yeah, he, he didn't he didn't last long. He did not last long. There's lots of them though. We got, actually we got a fair bit of those big ones coming. I'm hoping we get some uh, tier five stuff from the boss because right now we're on like tier one and tier two. We're not actually doing that much damage, all things considered. But luckily we're not that far in either, so. We're surviving. Let's see what we get. Spin to win. What do we get, game? The crew has learned a new blueprint, Gary. And this is super exciting because they're not very smart. I have no idea where uh, Gary is. Let's uh, let's see what the heck this Gary thing is. Gary, what are you? Uh, a very convincing decoy for the bugs to focus on. Only slightly smarter than your average crew member. Alright, I've never seen one of these. Interesting. I guess you could just... I don't know why you'd have that instead of like a wall or something. I, I really don't know. Uh, you know, it seems to taunt monsters, maybe. It's something. Uh, unfortunately, we can't afford a minigun yet. That's, uh, that's kind of sad. Wasn't there supposed to be a boss of some sort coming? Uh, let me see. Whatever gov government idiot came up with the supply drops design is really special. Does it need to explode on use? It damages half the stuff that it delivers, but there's another delivery in a radar. What's the plan? I, I guess uh, I guess we'll stay for a little bit. Why don't everyone go ahead and search? And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have to call this one here, guys. This guy. This game is called Space Raiders in Space. Uh, if you guys are interested, it's uh, going to be releasing out of early access soon, I'm pretty sure. I think on the uh, 8th of December. So I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. You guys are new to this channel. is what I do. I play any games every single day on the internet for your enjoyment. We play uh, base building automation games, tower defense games, and uh, vehicle engineering games. So if you're into stuff like that, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know when I put it in your content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.